Okay, here we go with the third part of this rotation tutorial. Um, uh, what I was trying to think of, I knew I forgot to mention something last time, and I just thought of it. Um, if you haven't saved your project yet, do so now before you die a horrible death. Uh, save as, save as the project, and if you've never used After Effects before, that's not the same thing as saving your movie. It'll just save your project here so you can work on it later. But if you haven't saved by now, you're probably doomed anyway. But, you know, if you actually make it to saving from this point, um, great. It's just, uh, if I hadn't saved for this long, I'd be doomed. Yeah. Anyway, so. Now we're going to be hopefully finishing our stage. It's hard to fit anything into two, um, ten minutes, but anyway. Um, so. This is looking really, uh... Well, before we get into that, I'm going to keep you on the edge of your seats as to what I meant by it's looking really. We're going to fix this part here, and that part over there, in the stupidest way possible. But it's the only way I know of doing it. So we're going to duplicate the stage floor, duplicate it, and uh, so you can see it. And we're just going to move the duplicate, we can actually leave the default name like that, move the duplicate over until it lines up. Actually, let's switch back into a one view, make it a little easier. Until it lines up, yes. Uh, that looks like it's lining up. So, but because of this, uh, yeah, that's good. But because of this stupid uh, diagonal wall thing that I uh, thought up, we've got this piece sticking out here. And uh, there's probably a better way of doing it, but I use this method because it's stupid. Not really, but because I don't know if any other way of doing it. So you can click these little arrows next to... Um, uh, layers to minimize their effects. That motion tile is still being put into effect. If you wanted to turn it off, you could click this little thing. You could turn it off and click it. It'll save all your settings. But anyway, we want to leave it on. All we want is to work with this um, effect. It makes it easier to see. So, and uh, you see there in space. Yeah, not there. Uh, 180. Never quite Ah, it looks like zero. Never quite sure where this is. Ah, yeah, and here we go. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I feel stupid doing it this way, but because we're never probably in the movie that I'm going to make with this stage, you'll never see this back part. If you want to see that back part, and you know, that could be really cool, um, then uh, you can just make a, another floor and rotate it so it lines up diagonally, or just skip the stupid diagonal wall. That's probably the best thing. Uh, so anyway, now we uh, figure out, yeah. Stage floor to duplicate it again. And uh, let's go back to our two view. Speed things up a little bit, except we don't want to move it in any of the axes except for X. There we go. I wonder if shift will work here. It will much faster. Even when you're dragging those numbers. Holding down shift will speed it up. Didn't know that. But anyway, had uh, luck over here. Back and it's, uh. Yeah. Um, uh, position. Actually, a little more room there. 
Look at it. That is perfect. Well, no. Uh, I'd hesitate to say anything that down here is perfect, but anyway. Anyway. Anyway, uh Okay, so, now yeah, this is looking like it's got um, the general shape of a um, uh, uh, stage, kind of a strange stage, but anyway, um, but it's all looking kind of samey, isn't it? I mean, the same wall, same everything. So, this is the really nice thing about 3D modeling with After Effects, that, um, that it's an advantage over regular um, real 3D modeling programs uh, is that you can do uh, color correction and things like that um, right here without having to mess around with the textures beforehand. So, uh, first thing I want to do is change this floor. Uh, you can already see that the uh, boards are smaller on the stage, and that was actually intentional in a way. Um, also easier because we need to scale it around but um, it's, uh, the floorboards of a uh, theater are usually different from the stage floorboards so you know makes sense uh, anyway so what I'd like to do is change it a little more so I'm going to use the curves and uh, curves are tricky things just play around with them until you figure them out if you haven't already everybody else has besides me anyway. I'm going to take this down a little bit and yeah I think that's all I'm going to do with it. Give it a kind of nice stained uh, floorboard look to it. And, uh, and the walls. Um, I'm going to also use curves. I'm going to darken them a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go into the red channel and uh, boost up the red into it around so we can see it boost up the red then go back into RGB and take it down and go all the way down yeah something Yeah, something like that. Um, give it a uh, a kind of look of a uh, I don't know. Uh, theaters are sometimes uh, done up with that red velvet stuff, so it's red concrete drywall, whatever. <laughs> uh, so you can fiddle it around until it looks exactly like it you want it to look. But anyway, if we just go. Um, click on the effect and go edit copy or control C whatever you want and click on our other layers we can just um, click over here in the control in the effects panel again paste and it'll put it um, edit paste I just went um, control V um, and do it again and we are good and finally, what I'm going to do, the, I think the last of our um, color correction here, is on this back wall. I'm not going to use curves. All I'm going to do is put a hue and saturation, bring the master saturation all the way down. So it's, uh, it's just black and white. Maybe the lightness down. Um, so now I've got this whole kind of concrete thing, and that's, uh, <laughs> colors are a little more enthusiastic than um, when I was practicing this tutorial. But what can you do? So, okay. And, uh, yeah. Oh, ooh, I'm out of time already. Okay, I'll see you in the next segment. If you're with me this far, I assume you'll come back.